Thank you for Nick. Thank you for Amy. Thank you for weaving their lives together. Thank you for looking on their marriage with endless delight. Remind us that as we participate in relationships of unconditional love, we participate in your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you that heaven will shine more clearly on earth because of the love Nick and Amy have for you and for each other. We are so excited for these two to get married and we know you are as well. to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. gives this woman to be with this man? Her mother and I. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but always rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. I, Nick, take you, Amy, to be my lawfully wedded wife, my constant friend, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward. Amy, take you, Nick, to be my lawfully wedded husband, my constant friend, my faithful partner, and my love for this day for it. Nick, Amy, it is with great joy I pronounce you husband and wife. Nick, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Sagendorf.
this beautiful daughter, bride, disciple, sister, woman, sitting before me. And I want to tell you from the bottom of our heart that we truly feel blessed to have you. We love you 100%. Not 50, not 80. That's 100% is happening, right? 100%. I've always told you two things in life, and you know, you guys know this too. It's like the most important decisions in your life are one to follow Christ, have him as your personal savior. The second is choosing the man that you're gonna marry. The first one affects you for eternity. The second one, if chosen incorrectly, affects you for what feels like eternity. <laughs> Uh, Nick, I, it's hard to talk about how special you are. Um, every time I'm with you, the time I spend with you, seeing you coach, seeing you with Amy, just brings joy to my heart, and Mom and I cannot be more proud of you. Sarah and I always liked you, though. You have the perfect ratio of being nice to Amy, but like, you also would gain up on her with Sarah and I, so that was nice. <laughs> um, when you guys broke up, I watched from my window, like the nosy little sister I am, and always will be. Um, I was sad because I could tell you guys were very, very sad, but I was a little bit happy, I have to admit, because I got my sister back. <laughs> but. They had the coolest bike valve caps, like where you pump up a tire on a bike. I remember I told him how cool he was because he had them. And he gave me one because he wanted me, his brother and best buddy, to be cool too. And it sounds so weird that a piece of plastic could mean so much. Do you still have yours? You do? 